got some chips, we got some pretzels, and oh, we got some sandwiches too. Let's see here, we got brown ones and we got green ones. Which uh, one do you want? What's the green? It's either really new cheese or really old meat. I'll take the brown. Alrighty. Are you serious? You're not going to eat that crap, are you? I'm hungry. This refrigerator's been broken for two weeks. Saw milk in there that wasn't even in the bottle, but yet it was standing up. Okay, you health nut. Let the boy eat. He's hungry. Murray, you eat the sandwich. Enjoy. Thank you. I've got six cards. Ah, I figured I got three aces in here. Miss deal. Glad I didn't pick up that. Steve for accuracy. Ooh, ooh. Never makes a really good sandwich. No, who? Felix. Really? Do you ever taste this cream cheese and pimento on date nut bread? No. No. It's not tasty. You're missing out. Ooh, huh. Are we going to talk about, uh, are we going to play some poker or are we going to sit here and talk about menus, huh? I think we should do with the poker. All right, hey, Benny, why don't you tell Oscar here what time you got to leave? 12 o'clock. You hear that? We got 10 minutes until our next announcement. So we're going to make this one a jippy. We're going to make it hardball. We're going to go straight with five card stuff. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's pick up our cards and get playing here, guys. Ah, well. All right, Murray, you're up. Come on, Murray. Murray! Come hey, on, move it, man. Come on. Calm down. I'm going to play. Leave Murray alone, okay? I'm in for a quarter. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Listen. Murray. Try these potato chips. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, Some of those aren't the most awful potato chips you've ever tasted. They are. Let's, let's make a deal. You gotta buy new potato chips at least every six months. This is disgusting. I don't know how you live like this. Can't you afford a maid or something? Sick. Not at all. She, uh, well, actually, probably could afford her, but she don't want to work for me no more. The work got too much for her after the kids and the wife left, you know. These days, she just can't do anything. Hey, the pot's shy. Who didn't throw in yet? You. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Why are reminding me? I'll remind you. The loan me $20. I just lent you $20 10 minutes ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> what just spit on the table? What just spit? Table. Right. No. <laughs> hey, you loaned me minutes, 10 bucks <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Do the math, jerky. Listen, Pally boy, I've been winning back my own money. Why don't you borrow money from somebody else? Okay. If you didn't have the money, why don't you play the game? Whoa. Okay, that's it. I'm done being nice here. You can all ante up six bucks just for the food I provided for you. Food? This is not food. I don't think this considers food. This is hot beer, and we got sandwiches from when you were high school that are green. This is pretty sick. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming here to taste the fine dining. I thought we came here to play poker. You're gonna loan me 20 bucks up, Murray. What? Oh, you gotta? Why don't you ask Felix? He ain't here. Neither am I. All right, fine. Here's 20, but you're on the books. Broken record, Jesus. You gonna call Felix or what? We gonna play poker or what? You're not even worried? The guy hasn't missed a game in two years. Two years? That ain't no record. You wanna see records? Lou Gehrig, 1939. 15 years straight, didn't miss a game in baseball for the Yanks. But hey, if you want me to call, I'll call. How can you be so lazy, Oscar? Somebody's gotta be like that. I got a pair of sixes. Three deuces. I didn't know my last week playing here. I'm, I've had it. I get enough Hello? stress back home. Hello? Oh, yeah. Dabby? No, no Dabby here. What's your pot? No, no. Oh, Daddy. No. Oh. Hey, is this Bruce? How are you doing, kid? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. You got to keep it down a little. My kid's on the phone. He's calling from California. It must be costing him a fortune. Yeah, costing me a fortune, more like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got your letter. Tell your mother next time to uh, give you a stamp. You draw one. It's not going to make it here on time. You drew a stamp on the postcard. <laughs> Yeah, how you know? Your fish, yeah, I've been taking oh, care of your right? fish. And oh, God, that's it. <sighs> Killed my kid's fish. <laughs> Murderer? Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Killed your, I can't even take care of a fish. Shh. Yeah, yeah, he's doing all right. Yep, he's still in your room. Yep, everything's doing okay. What's that? Mommy wants to talk to me? <sighs> all right, I guess. Put her on the line. This could be fun. Oh, yeah. Hello, Blanche. How you doing? Yeah, I know. I'm behind in the payments. What can you do, you know? Uh, pretty much one week. Four weeks? No. I didn't know it was four weeks. Oh, shit. No, no. What? No, don't get psycho on me. Don't be, no, don't be threatening the cops on me, okay? You're not going to do it. Don't, don't say it if you're not going to do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, no. Stop, okay? You know, I got some other bills I got to pay, too. Been trying
trying to keep up, you know, it's not like you're hurting for money. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, you call me when you're rational. I'm gonna get back to the focus. Goodbye, Blanche. All right, goodbye. Stupid frog. <laughs> You should be playing poker then. Right, buddy. Yeah, you should be coming to my house eating all my goddamn food either. All right, guys, come down. We're trying to have a friendly game. Whoa. Oh, we're talking about a game. We haven't been. We've been sitting here since eight o'clock and haven't played one damn hand of poker here since seven. That's why I'm gonna quit at twelve. Why would you like a uh, banana stuff? Right all in right, now, for the love of Mr. Silva, calm down, guys. I'm a cop and I can arrest every one of you. Let's just play a game. I'll take four cards. Yeah, Murray's right. Let's just play a game. Guys are oh, yeah, the the he's got a reshuffle. All right. And when you, when, you, when you get dealt this time, pull him up a little higher. You know, I can't see the marks since I put on him. That's the worst behavior the guys are pal. Kids are pal. Yeah, but don't you love me? You gotta love me. Especially you, boy. You love me, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We Come do. on, say it loud. Say, I love you, Oscar Madison. You don't take any of this seriously, do you? You owe money to your wife, to your government. You owe money to all of us. What the hell, boy? What do you want me to do? Jump in my garbage disposal and grind myself to that? <laughs> Life goes on those of us that are divorced, you know. Shut up, answer the phone. Ah, oh, you shut the hell up, Murray. Jeez, I'm gonna stop now. Wait, have you finished this game? Oh. Hello, recently divorced. Mm. How you doing, honey? Of course I got the whipped cream and the chocolate syrup for later. That's right. You best be over here in three hours, and I'll show you a damn good time. All right, hold on a second. Murray, it's your wife. Wish you were having an affair with her. Yeah. You're bothering me all the time. Nag, 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 nag. Yeah, Mimi, what's up? What time you got me home, dear? I've got a 12 and 12.30. A 12 or 12.30? What do you want? Corned beef, corn beef sandwich and a strawberry malt? All right. <laughs> is she pregnant again? <laughs> She's just fat. <laughs> How the hell did you hear that? <sighs> what, Felix? Really? I knew something was up. All right, all right. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, Mimi. Goodbye. I knew it. What'd you know? What's the matter? Felix is missing. Felix who? Felix, the guy who sits there every night and cleans our ashtrays. Oh. What do you mean he's missing? He's missing. Mimi um, just talked to his wife. Felix? Yes. He didn't show up for work? Didn't uh, did come home last night? No one's missing for just one day. That's right. You have to be missing for at least 48 hours before you're missing. Worst it could be is lost. He's not lost. He, he's, he lives on the West Avenue. He's, something's wrong. Maybe you had an accident or something. <laughs> no, nah, they would have heard about that. I don't know. What if he's lying in a ditch someplace and nobody can tell who he is? Felix Unger? The man's got 92 credit cards or something like that. You know, if somebody found him and took his wallet, this whole country would light up like a freaking Christmas tree. Maybe he went to the movies. You know how long his pictures are today. No wonder he's going to Florida in July. Dumb, 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 dumb. All right, all right. Maybe he was mugged or something. 36 hours straight? How the hell did someone happen like that? Maybe they took his clothes. I knew this one guy once. He went to the doctor's office, got mugged at the doctor's office, somebody took his clothes. So we had to go home in what? a nurse's uniform. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Murray, you're a cop. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's something bad, real bad. How do you know? I can feel it in my bones. Hey, guys, you hear this? We got Bulldog Drummond here. <laughs> Hey, maybe he's Hold drunk. Up. I mean, we toss a few back once in a while. We like to get a little silly, some happiness. Maybe he picked some bad habits up from us and turned to the bottle or something. Does he drink? <laughs> yeah, he drinks all right. He drank a whole bottle of Pepto-Bismol <laughs> last year on New Year's Eve. Oh, jeez. All right, let's just stop guessing. I'm going to call Francis and see what the hell's up. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just because we don't know where he is doesn't mean somebody doesn't know where he is. What? Don't you have a girl? A what? <laughs> you know a girl. Somebody on the side, a little play toy after work. <laughs> Just Felix, a Felix Unger? The guy wears a vest in galoshes. He doesn't have a girl. Oscar. Now, maybe he has a girl on the side. Well, that's different. Oscar's divorced. That's not really on the side. That's somewhere in the middle. You, 
two through because we're missing a poker player that's holding us up. I'm going to find out where the hell he is. You know, he's been looking edgy the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Don't you think he looked edgy? No, as a matter of fact, I thought you looked edgy, <laughs> mister. <laughs> hey, hello, Francis. This is Oscar. Hey, hey uh, calm her down. It's probably hysterical. Don't listen, worry. Listen, yo, don't worry. You know, everything is going to be all right. Huh. She ain't worried. She ain't worried. Yeah, yeah, I heard he's missing. No, I didn't know. What's up? No, shit, really. Wow, sorry to hear that. Okay, well, if we hear anything, we'll give you a call and let you know what's going on. All right, see you later, Francis. All right. You gonna tell us we gotta hire a private detective? They're through. Who? What? Felix and Francis. Marriage, it's over. You're kidding. Why? After 12 years? They were such a happy couple. <laughs> 12 years don't make a happy couple. It just makes a long couple. Go figure. Felix and Francis. God. I don't know what you guys are all so surprised at. He's out here every Friday night and said how much they bitched at each other all the time. Yeah, yeah, but whoever believed Felix? Come on, this is Felix. What happened? She couldn't handle it anymore. Oh, all you ever used to talk about is my beautiful wife, my wonderful wife. Yeah, well, his beautiful, wonderful wife doesn't want anything to do with him anymore. He, he, he'll, he'll go crazy. He'll go to pieces. He's going to do something stupid. Will you shut up, Murray? Just stop being a cop for a couple seconds. Oscar, where'd he go? He'd kill himself. Oh, God. I, I know it. I knew he'd kill himself. I knew it. Are you serious? Yes. He, he, that's what he'll do. He'll kill himself. I don't believe it. That's all... Felix is just talk. That's all he is, mister. It's just talk. Felix. But is that what he said? In those words? I'm gonna kill myself? I don't know. She didn't read it to me. You mean he left her a note? No, better. He sent her a telegram. Suicide <laughs> telegram? Who the hell sends a suicide telegram? Felix Unger, that's who. And get this. After she gets a letter that says, I'm gonna kill myself, she's gotta tip the kid a quarter. But I don't get it. If he wanted to kill himself, why the hell did he send a telegram? He leaves a note, he takes a risk of it not being found till Monday, and then if he shows up alive, everyone will be pissed off. This way, if he sends a telegram, he's got a chance of being saved. So what you're saying is, he doesn't really want to kill himself, he just wants some sympathy. That's exactly what I'm saying. Felix is the type of guy that will go to a funeral and sit in the back, just because he enjoys crying so much. That's for sure. You know, we get these kind of cases every day. As a matter of fact, we got a guy called every Saturday. Threatening to jump off the George Washington Bridge? Never does it. Yeah, you, know, you, you can never tell what these people are going to do when they're hysterical like that. Nine times out of ten, they don't jump. Yeah, but what about the tenth? They jump. Thank you. That, that's a possibility. Felix wouldn't jump. He's too nervous. The guy wears a seatbelt to a drive-in movie. Well, isn't there some place we can look for him? Where can we look for Felix? Where, I, don't, I have no idea where we can look, huh? Where? Of course. If you're gonna kill yourself, where's the best place to do it? Amongst friends. All right, you guys, he's probably really hysterical. Why, why don't we be calm? Because if we're calm, he'll be calm. That's right, that's what they say. Those people up on the ledge, if you act calm, they'll be calm and more relaxed. So all we have to do is just stay calm. Yeah. And what do we say? We don't say nothing. If we don't say nothing, he'll be real relaxed. We don't know nothing. You guys done now? Because he could have hung himself out in the hallway while we were taking so long to figure out what the hell we were going to do. Ben, why don't you get up and answer the door? All right. Remember, guys, nothing. Then, no facial expressions. We don't know nothing. Hey, Ben. Hi, fellas. Hey. Hey, 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 hey How's the poker game going? Oh, it's uh, all right. We have played a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Hey, uh, do you have any coke left? Uh, I think Murray the last coke. Uh, we got some seven up here somewhere. Uh, I, I feel like a coke. I really don't feel like a seven up. What's the bet, you guys? Uh, you bet a quarter. It's up to Murray. Murray, uh, you're up. Murray! Murray, Murray! Hey, step on the shoulder. Murray! What? What? It's up to you, man. Come on. Why is it always up to me? It's not always up to you, but right now it's up to you. So what are you going to do? Oh, uh, yeah.
Yeah, I, I guess I'm in. Did anybody call about me? Anybody call from Felix, you guys? No. No, no. no nobody called for you. Why, were you expecting a phone call? No, no, I'm just, just wondering. Hmm, well, I'll see you at that, and I'll raise you a dollar. I mean, I just thought somebody might have called call about me. Cost me a dollar and a quarter to play now, right? Uh, yeah, right. Okay. But if nobody called, nobody called. How, how much does it cost me to play? It costs you a dollar and a quarter. I'm a sorry. dollar and a quarter. Hey. Pay attention for Christ's sake. Take it easy. Take it Calm easy. Down. I'm sorry. He gets oh. me so nervous. Oh, whoa. I get you nervous? You get everybody nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll kill myself. Mario! Do you want to sit down and play? I'll move the tray here. You can sit down and play. Oh, um, no. I really don't feel like playing anymore. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'll, I'll find something. Don't worry about me. Where are you going? To the John. By yourself? I always do. Why? No reason. It's going to be there long? As long as it takes. Don't you think you ought to go in there with him? What for? Just go to the can. Stop. Go with him. Well, why? Suppose he just has to go to the job. Well, you know, it's better to be embarrassed than dead. I'm telling you guys, what's he gonna do in there? It's just a kid's bathroom. I mean, the most he could do is brush his teeth to death. He could jump. That's right. Isn't there a window in there? Yeah, but it's only six inches wide. Well, couldn't he break the glass and then cut his wrists? He could flush himself down the toilet into the East River, too. I'm telling you, he's not gonna do a damn thing. Shh. Listen. He's crying. I can't take listening to somebody cry like that. Okay, right. Aren't you going to do something? Aren't you going to say something? What What do you say to a guy who's crying on the crapper? I don't know. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He is coming. Well, I guess I'll be getting along now. Felix, where are you going? I can't stay, I gotta go. No, I no, Felix, stay. No, no, stay. No, really, I Felix. can't stay. I have to go, there's nothing. Just, no, no, I have to go. Come on, no, you're our friend. Come on, let me go. go. Sit down. No, 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 it's my problem. I'll come figure on. it out. Come on, sit down. No, come on, I'll figure it out. It's just my own problem. Come on, my right, Felix. No, no I Felix, swear. you're, you're hysterical. Look, I'm I'm oh, just oh, my stomach. What's wrong with your stomach? Oh, he's sick. His face. Move your coat. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Did you take something? Oh, no, I swear I didn't take anything. Oh. Oh. Did you take anything? What's no, what? I swear I didn't take anything. He took no, pills. Tell no, Francis pills. what I did, please. What oh. did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear. You sure you didn't take any pills? I didn't take any pills. All right, you didn't take any pills. Just, just, didn't a, take few. Pills. just a few. Just a few? Guys, took they're pills. 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 I don't know what kind. It was green ones. They took them from her cabinet. I, I used must. Do you know how many you took? Somebody took to call a doctor. No, 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 to call a doctor. Do you know how many you took? I don't remember. It was All right, I, I got a caller. I got a caller. No, no, call her. She found out that I took a whole bottle. She you me. took a whole bottle? <laughs> a whole bottle. We got to do something. Just call a doctor. No, no, call a doctor. I'll be fine. All right, I gotta call a doctor. No, don't call a doctor. I'll be fine. Walk him around or something. <laughs> what kind were they? I don't know. While you interns are sitting over there trying to figure it out, we gotta do something here. We gotta get them out. They're in your system. We gotta get them out. <laughs> no, I, I already did. I already got them out. I threw up before. So if you guys are just gonna sit around, I'm gonna call a doctor. No, don't call the doctor. I'll be all right. I swear. All right. He says he got him out, he got him out. We don't have to do anything. You Just know, we were married for 12 years. 12 years? Roy, did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> now it's over. It's over. Just like that. It's hysterical. Well, Felix, you, you guys have had plenty.
fights before, haven't you? No, no, no. It's over. She's going out tomorrow to get the lawyer. It's my cousin. How am I supposed to get? It's going to be all right. It'll be all right. I don't know what I should do. All right, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm just uh, I, think I, well, I think it's called the night. I think it's called the night, you guys. I'm so ashamed, guys. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry, well, man. I'll just let him stay here for the night, all right? Please don't right. tell me just what, guys. Just rest yourself. Please we don't tell me what, Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we'll see you next week. All right? You same time, same anybody? place. Please don't say. Please don't tell anyone, guys. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed. We understand. It's all right. Hey, you Please, man. Please, man. Don't tell anyone. I promise. Please. I'm going to Florida tomorrow. Oh, nice. Have a nice time. Thanks. We were supposed to go to Florida as a winner. Now they're going to go without me. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you need anything, give me a call. Okay. I only live a few blocks away. I can be here in five minutes. All right. Take care of yourself. I'm at the Marriott Motel in Miami Beach. You'll be the first person I call. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Everything's all right. All right. Felix. You get a good night's sleep, it'll be all right in the morning. All right? Take away his shoelaces and his belt. Okay. All right, good night. Felix, 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 jeez. I know, I know, I know. Oscar, what am I going to do? You're going to have a cup of coffee to wash down the pills. That's what we're going to do. Can I leave you here for a couple minutes? No, or? no, no, don't. Well, you please stay with me? I'll, I'll take you in the kitchen and sit on you, okay? I mean... I mean, the funny thing is, I, I think I still love her. I mean, sure, we had a lousy marriage, but I mean, I think I still love her. You want some old team instead? You want with some, I have some chocolate old team. You want some of that? I mean, sure, the marriage really bit the big one, but I mean, we had two beautiful kids and a beautiful house, didn't we, Oscar? How about some food? You want some vanilla wafers, some Vienna fingers? I got some of that. Oh, Oscar, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to wake up with myself every morning? You can have some coffee or some mobile team. Get you something to eat. Then we'll talk about divorce. Oh, Oscar. I mean, I just don't know what to do. I, I hate myself. I just hate myself. Ow. What? What's the matter? Oh, it's just the next spasm. I get it. That's all. Where does it hurt? No, don't touch. Don't touch. Well, let me rub it. I'll no, make it better. No, you can't. You have to rub it a special way. Only Francis knows how to rub it. Well, do you want me to call her so she can come over and no, do it? No, Francis is not going to want to come over and rub me anymore. You're getting a divorce. Well, let me rub it at least. You're not in too much pain. <laughs> Ow! How easy. You calm down. You're too tense. you got to loosen up a little. I can't. I can't. I can't relax. Calm down. Ow. Don't yell at me. Does that feel any better? A little bit. Well, make a different noise. You have the same now for the same freaking sound for happiness that you do with pain. I know, I know. I'm such a baby. I don't know what to do. Oh, there, you seem to be alright now. Oh, oh. My back hurts though. Back? Well, I ain't gonna rub you no more. There's one thing that can ease your pain this time. That's a drink. You need a drink. No, I can't drink. I can't. I tried it yeah, last you night. You need a drink. I'm gonna get you a drink. I tried it last night and ended up throwing up all over the place. <sighs> Here, drink this. You'll feel better. How do you do it, Oscar? I mean, how how do you do it? How do you wake up knowing that you have to totally change your whole life and your kids aren't here anymore? How'd you do it? <sighs> a lot of drinking. Lots and lots of drinking. And when I wasn't drinking, I was puking. I was bleeding. But after a while, I got over it. And I just don't know anymore, Oscar. I mean, I, I'm i just like too hard to live with. I mean, I, I sleep at night in one position. And Francis says, and your tombstone is going to read, here.